My sister asked me, could I make her a beaded butterfly? And I said, I'll try. Hi, this is Tweek. Today we're going to make a beaded butterfly. Join us. Supplies you need for this project are, you will need beads, your choice of colors, from size 2 millimeters up through 6 millimeter beads. You will also need some copper wire, at least 4 feet of it, and let's get started. I was challenged to make this butterfly. My sister loved the tulips and other little beaded things I've made. I said, okay, this is going to be a challenge. I have not done this before. I drew out a sketch and gave myself notes as to how I wanted this all to fit. But I wanted beads and one piece of wire, that's it. So that piece of wire is gonna have to be four feet long and the size wire I'm using is an artistic craft wire, 0.81 millimeters. And it's copper, it's got a little more heft than the usual wire because I want it to hold its own. When I bend it, it's gonna hold its shape. So let's get. I think there was at least enough on here. You want at least four feet. The more wire you have to play with, okay, the more options you have towards the end when you make your butterfly. Wow, I had a little bit left over. Okay, so we're gonna take this long piece of wire and we're gonna put it in half. and make a little crimp, just a little one, because the first thing I'm gonna do is add a bead, and that's gonna be the head of the butterfly. Since I'm kind of questioning what beads, what colors do I wanna use this time? I've made a butterfly here, and I'm gonna use him to follow my pattern around, but I start out with, I think I want a nice bead. I'm going with oranges. Now this is a pretty good size bead, but I think it's gonna look good on this butterfly. I think this is a, um, a 10 millimeter bead. I'm just gonna bring it down to the center. And that right there, I'm gonna crimp or just pull on each side of the bead. So that is the start of your butterfly, see? And we're gonna work with one side of the wire and then we'll repeat the pattern on the other side. These are the colors I'm using. Now let me just spill them out. And so the colors are just beautiful. And I knew I wanted my butterfly to have these colors in them. But for the main part of his body, I wanted him to have some black. So I'm gonna grab some beads here. I need six of them. And these again are six millimeter beads. They don't have um, these sparkle, but they do have some shine. So they will reflect the light. And we're gonna put six of these on the wire next to his head. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now we've got the start where his body's gonna be. Now we're going to, I'm gonna just push up. We're gonna start making the top of his wing. So we're starting here. We're gonna go up and around to make the wing. Then we're gonna come down to make the bottom wing. We're gonna fill in just a little bit there and then we'll continue. So counting here, I need one, two, three, four, five, six patterns of threes and sixes. So I'm gonna start with this darker red. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then we're gonna put a clear one, and then I'm gonna do another three. It was my challenge to get this wing all on the one wire and leave myself enough room. I'm just gonna follow pattern of three all the way around uh, let's see, we've got the red. Let's do three more of the reddish, the reddish orange. This is just me doing this on the fly. So pretty. I'm going to add nine black beads. Now these are gonna be a little bit bigger. Here's what we've got so far. Ooh, you're gonna be pretty butterfly. And now I'm going to follow this back around. I wanna get some yellow in there too. Maybe we'll add the yellow as a highlight. One, two, three little oranges. And now I'm gonna add one of these little 
peachy beads. And it looks like I'm going to do, we're coming around this side now. And we've got a set of three, 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 four sets of three beads. So let's do that. Here we got, we're gonna get to the point now, if that's the top of the wing, then I'm gonna bring this over. I've got the pattern I like. Now I'm gonna bring in some little clear beads just to hook the two wings together in the center. Bear with me, it's all gonna work out. So I'm gonna stop right there. And the thing is, when we get to the other side, we mimic exactly the pattern. So that's where right now I might show a little indecision. I'm just trying to figure out how I want these guys to sit. And so I'm going to take this piece of wire, making sure these are all taut on the wire. I'm just going to tuck this wire under. So get out of the way of your wire because this thing flaps around. And I've just made a tuck in there. And I want it to be tight, tight as I can make it, as close as I can make it. And I'm going to go once around again and come down. Okay, we have all this left to work with. Here's what we've got so far. You're going to be pretty. And then later on I will shape it more. You can shape it into whatever shape you want. You can make it more oval. You can put indentations into it. And okay, now we're coming to the bottom part. So I'm going to take the wire over this way and come back around and meet in the center. And it looks like I'm going to mimic this pattern here. So I had six of the clear beads. And now what kind of pattern? I'd like to mimic a little bit of what's here, down here. We've got three, six, nine. A pattern of three there, three there, and then we went to some black again for bigger beads. So three, six, nine, twelve. We've got twelve to work with. I put a little peachy one in between, so I'm gonna keep doing that. Now I'm gonna mimic. We did yellow, so I'm gonna do three yellows. Now we're coming around to the black again. Here's where you decide. Do you want a little more color in there? I put in three, six, nine. Of course I did. Nine black. This is so pretty, isn't it? So we've got this going here. And now I'm going to finish up to the top. Since I used red and peach there, I'm going to do the same. And we're going to do one, two, three sets of three. Now what I'm gonna do, I like that size for my butterfly, and I'm gonna hold these beads taut on the wire and just gently meet up. And I'm gonna go around once I'm going to bring this, not through, but around the beads. And then once again, so that's two twists around the body. Okay, we're almost through with this side. We have two more things to do. I'm trying to bring the wire up. I want to do this center piece right here. And this is just a little bit of decoration for the wing. I want a little bit more color there. All right, we've got the white there. So let's do a white. Yep, that looks nice with the center of the, of the butterfly. I'll do three whites. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the peach in between each color. We're just gonna follow it around.
and then we're just going to finish off with a couple of white two three how's it look oh that's going to be pretty okay so now I'm going to come under the wing and hide this wire a little bit just come under the under the wire you're working with and we're going to buddy them up so there's no beads that are loose I'm going to go under again so I want this wire to come out in the center to finish off the rest of his body. And if you need a tool to help you pull, the wire's holding up really well. I'm going to wind it once around. I want more security once around the main body. Okay, there we go. That feels good. See? Futz, futz, futz. What do you think? You like it? And now I'm going to add, to finish this off here, pull it tight. I'm going to finish off with some more beads, black beads. That's going to be the rest of his abdomen. Three, six, nine, of course. So that is the half, and I'm gonna stop right there and just gonna put a little crimp there so the beads don't roll off. Now we're gonna start on the other side. So basically on the side, we're just going to repeat. So what did we do here? We had the head, we put six black beads. This will be easier for me because I have less decision as I'm just gonna follow the pattern. So there's their start. I'll see you when we get to the end of the other side. I'm going to twist these two pieces of wire together, but I want a little bit more of an abdomen on him. So I'm going to add probably maybe two more beads on each side. It still leaves an odd number. That means 11 instead of 9. Got the two of them together. I'm going to try to get them as tight as I can next to each other, make an X, and then start twisting. Three twists. Let's see if I like the looks. I'm going to add a little more to his body when I add the antennas. You can start getting the idea of how he's going to look. I like that little bit of copper on the bottom. I'll space him out a little bit differently. Okay, when I come to the final crimp here and make him look like the kind of butterfly I want him to look like, I will be putzing with him quite a bit here. But for right now, let's do a little snip. I want these two edges to be the same length, approximately. Let's see if I can get that close. Okay. Good enough. And now I'm going to curl. Just very simply put a little curl on the end of each one there. So this is different than the others I've done, but that's all right with me. Okay, got a little tail there. Tail or abdomen, however you want to say it. Good. Now, we need antennas. That looks pretty, doesn't it? OK, 
Okay, now for the antennas. I have another piece of wire, about eight inches of wire. I just wanted to add just a little bit of definition here. So I've got about, uh, let's see, how long is this? Um, this is, oh, it's a little over 12 inches of wire. So I'm just gonna take whatever wire I have left. It's still the copper, it's still gonna hold its own. You don't wanna bend it too much or it'll break. Don't wanna wear it out, overwork it. I'm just gonna put it in half for a measurement. And then I'm gonna start right where I left off. See right in there? And I'm just gonna push the wire through that end between those two beads. Okay, so that's my start. And I'm gonna give a twist. Twist it, not my tail that I just worked on. <laughs> let's see if I can do this here. Give it a twist. Here, that's an easy way to do it. Just do an X with the wire. Excellent. And they go up each side. So you see what I'm getting at here? Now I'm gonna add a complementary bead. This adds just a little half to his body and I'm gonna wind around the head and those are gonna be the antennas. Okay, so that's the final part of our butterfly. What colors do we want? I had not decided. I'm thinking of black to here, add some red, more black than the antennas. So that's what I'm gonna do. Get some more black in here. I got lots of it, so six millimeter beads. All right, thank you guys for a minute. So whatever I do on one side, do on the other. So this is what we've got so far. Now what do I want to do? I want to add a little more color right in here. And I'm going to go with the red since the, the reddish orange, since the most of uh, his middle there is a reddish orange. Okay, so now I'm to here. See how that changes him? And actually, I'm going to pull back onto, I want a little more black to come up near the head. So I'm going to take off two. So that's four of the orangey beads. And then black. And now we're up to his head. Okay. And I'm going to take the wire on either side of that big bead. And I'm just going to wind it around. I think I can do it once. This is where I'm spreading apart the wire and actually reach in between Make sure it's all taut when you get there. Now, if I start squishing him back together, so you get a little more of a definition on him. <laughs> good, good, good. I could have used a bigger bead for his head, I think. So now I'm just gonna start shaping him. Like I said, you can't go wrong. The only thing I'm trying to do is compact him in the center. Okay, I really like his body. I like how that turned out. I've got the wings how I think I want them. Okay, and now finish off with a curl. And that's going to be real simple. I'm thinking, do I want them that long? I want them just a little bit shorter. Okay, let's just knock some of the length off that. There. And now let's put a curl in there. I'm just going to come around using the fattest part of my tool. There's one. There we go. Antennas are curved. This, this butterfly is ready to fly. Scrunch, scrunch, adjust, adjust. Butterfly. Should I stop? Yes. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, get some wire, get some beads. Look at how pretty. I cannot wait to see him sparkling in our window.